As, and com compared it with the the idea of a bribe and starting with zero after that, which is a point I think uh, many of us would do well to remember because that's unfortunately the truth of the whole thing. And the this, the spin that you've put on this whole uh, idea by suggesting that, hey, ask them questions or put them in a situation where they have to think, invest yeah. time, invest their brains, and then you give them an answer that they would care about and they would not like to lose. Yeah. And, and then say, hey, but I cannot send this answer to you if I don't have your email ID. Yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer, right. right? Sure. Yeah. So it uh, it's uh, it's lovely how the the whole thing is planned, right? It, it's done with a intention. It's done with a certain amount of care also for the user. We are not just using you. It, there is an interaction going on here. Yeah, exactly. And that's a that's a very important thing. In fact, I think this already would provide a very useful idea to some of our listeners. I'm very sure of that because this is a very common problem. For a lot of people, uh, it's just the way the website traffic works, you know? Yeah. Hundreds and thousands of uh, visitors and very less uh, conversions in terms of email IDs. Yeah. So let's let's uh, move on to another topic, uh, Roman, which is about, uh, and this is actually related to what you said, uh, the idea of motivation, intrinsic or extrinsic. Yeah. And so one of the ways that I have, started thinking about gamification over time is just in terms of two things. One is what kind of motivation am I going to target, mm -hmm. intrinsic or extrinsic, mm -hmm. and what kind of mechanic will help me to, to connect with that part of the user, right? Okay. Whether it's a spin wheel or... So do you also think like this or do you have a different way of thinking about it? Especially when you have to help somebody who comes to you and says, uh, Roman, here is my app. We need your help in gamifying the app. Uh, what are the variables that you think in terms of? So the first of all, I never probably, so the point is I never think about, is it, do we need extrinsic or intrinsic in general? Okay, because... Okay. The point is, if I do something, it's only about intrinsic. Okay, I, I never take a project where I would say it's easier for you if you do extrinsic motivation. There are some places and advantages for that, yeah, but that's not my business. But and that's the point: you can't create, so at least I can't. Perhaps it's possible. I don't know, but I can't create intrinsic motivation without the help of extrinsic in the first place. Okay, so oh. that means you always have to, the point is you can only be intrinsic motivated about something if you have already experienced it. So the point is yeah. in the first place, I have to get you to experience that. Yeah. And so I, of course, I can, I can go back to extrinsic because the point is here, I'm not thinking about how can I gamify the old app because that is a long-term period of time. Yeah. And then it's, it's intrinsic. Now it's only, I want you to experience this one feature, for example, the first one. And so how can I, then my question is always, okay, how can we use an extrinsic mechanism to get you to use this feature because we want you to experience this kind of feature in a particular way where we believe that it's the easiest for us after that to move you and to change our designs so we can, after that we can design the extrinsic mechanism out of the system and introduce the intrinsic design. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And so this is always the same. When what we do as um what our our first question always is um and it, yeah for some projects you don't need it really to ask that but most often it's about are we looking for explicit or implicit gamification? Okay? So explicit gamification means that you know that you are within a game right now. Okay, so serious games, game-based learning, a game wheel, whatever. It's like, okay, it's this would be my job or this would be the app, but now we pause it and now I can. It's like if, if I want to train you on the job, yeah? if, if, if you have to learn like to avoid phishing emails, for example. 
The explicit way would be that I would create a game where you can sit down and you be a person within the game and you have to avoid that your company is being attacked by phishing emails or you are the villain who is using phishing emails to attack another competitor or whatever it is, okay? But you know exactly that, okay, I'm sitting down as an employee, you know that, okay, now it, I pause the work, I'm sitting down and I'm playing games. That's explicit, okay? And the implicit way would be that you're introducing the learning about phishing emails into his real life situation of answering real emails in real time. So there is no distinction between your work and a game. You just improve right. the actual. And so no one knows that he's playing a game actually, or that he's being you, uh, ex, um, 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 that now game mechanics are being used and there are advantages right. and disadvantages of both systems. Yeah. And so we have to analyze what's better, what fits the situation, what's the budget, there's different ways to do that. And exactly. So that's actually the first question that we're always trying to answer. So explicit versus implicit. Yeah. Should we create a situation based game where you dedicate your time, you pause your work, get into the game, play it, uh, but then you know that it's a game uh, versus in the flow of your work, you are given feedback or you are given additional challenges or additional help. However, whatever it is, whatever fits. But the point is we whatever want to fits. improve reality yeah, and not to provide a, another activity for 10 minutes that's more fun and then you have to go back. That's not the case. Got it. Got it. I, I think uh, I obviously do not know, but I think that the implicit part sounds a lot more interesting because yes. <laughs> it does. Uh, I know it, it, it just could be my own personal preference talking here, but I think also a lot of companies might prefer uh, that kind of thing, especially uh, I think one of the areas where they would prefer is an industry like fintech, mm -hmm. uh, banking maybe, yeah. you know, Yeah. Uh, and, and I think these days, I don't know how it is in Germany, but I think it's not wrong to say that all over the world, banks are facing a lot of competition from smaller, faster moving companies uh, who are heavily doing gamification. I heard about insurance companies who gamified, uh, not sorry, insurance companies, personal finance management companies yeah. who gamified investments. They taught young people how to invest by telling them, hey, if you spend uh, if you are buying a sandwich for eight euros yeah. and you, you give the shopkeeper 10 euros and they give you back two, you can invest those two euros. Yeah. And it, so they get you to start. Uh, would you call that as implicit? Does that sound like implicit? It's, it, it would be implicit. I don't know if it's implicit gamification, but it's implicit. Yeah. So the it's idea implicit. is right. Um it's, and you're right. The companies are always fascinated about the implicit way, okay? Because it means that, oh, they can, they are being gamified while they are worry, uh, uh, working. Working, yeah, so yeah. That's amazing. And of course, uh, also from my meaning in my job is if I don't want to create something in addition to your work, like a game, I want to improve your work. And um, so I'm much more in the implicit way. But the problem is, and that's, that, that's, that's reality, to say it this way, even if they are more excited about the implicit way, the problem is that it's being designed into the system of the work of your surf software, and it's it's lying beneath the surface. So it's right. like it's psychology. It works, but indirectly. The problem is that most projects and most project owners or whatever or companies that are using that, they want to see it. So the point is, I uh, we have the point is. I, it's not long ago. We had a customer and he said, he, we really talked about the whole, for, for almost two or three weeks, we worked on the concept. He was totally with us on the implicit way. And then suddenly he realizes, oh, wait a minute. In six months, I have to show the project to my boss. So I will have around 20 minutes. I, I, I got this kind of budget. Um, Boy, he, he, he won't get it in 20 minutes. It's too, too indirect. And so what happens at the end? He wanted to create a real game, a virtual reality game, not because it was the best decision to do, but he knew that if I have 20 minutes and I give the virtual reality game to my boss, 
he can sit down, he put it on, he says, wow, amazing. Okay. And that's all. So the decision was okay. made for the best result or impact. The decision was made for what's the most probable way for me as a project manager to be promoted. Got it. <laughs> but that's a different kind of motivation at work. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's a system. I can't blame him. Yeah, don't blame the player, blame the game. Right. 